We grew up with burnt out decay all over us. The documentary is called Decade of Fire, detailing how the South Bronx was literally on fire practically every day during the 1970s. The average was 40 fires a day, according to this documentary, and eventually 80% of the housing stock in the South Bronx was burned. Vivian Vasquez grew up in the Longwood neighborhood, which she said looked like Berlin after World War II. Many times as a kid growing up, I've heard that it was the people of the South Bronx who destroyed their neighborhood. And what we learned it was that actually it was the people of the South Bronx who saved their neighborhoods. Vasquez and her co-director Gretchen Hildebrand say they discovered through the 10 years of working on this documentary that government policies of methodical negligence contributed greatly to the fires. It was the height of the city's fiscal crisis and they found that the city was closing firehouses in the Bronx and only had 50 fire marshals to investigate all the suspicious fires throughout the city, many possibly being set by landlords for insurance money. People in places of power that decided that they were just going to let it burn and leave the people there to fend for themselves. We were poor, we were people of color, and uh, we weren't important. We didn't matter at the time. But this documentary ends on an optimistic note showing how grassroots efforts and sweat equity helped bring the Bronx back. Block after block through community ownership projects, residents like those who live on this block of Kelly Street took control of their housing. We can have really good things in our neighborhood and if we own it ourselves and control it ourselves, we can make sure that it's for us and not meant as a way to push us out. A decade of fire opens tonight at the Metrograph on Ludlow Street in Lower Manhattan. And every night that there's a screening of this movie for the next week, it will be followed by a Q&A section and uh, with the documentary makers. And then soon it will be brought to different schools here in the Bronx. We are live in Longwood in the Bronx. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News. Back to you, Tamsin and Corey.